I spoke a lot about this girl in the last podcast and we have to speak about her again because I found her truly, truly, truly fascinating. And there's another article here on Daily Mail, which I actually missed, um, that speaks a little bit about her and as a person. And maybe we can learn a bit more about the business and how she makes this, you know, living that she does. And if you're wondering who it is, yes, it's Bonnie Blue, the lady who slept with over 30 men, it says here, but I think now it's 100 or whatever. It's flipping loads. So this is an article that kind of speaks about the things that she does. But let's watch the videos because it's better to get an idea of what she's about via the video. So this is Bonnie Blue um, sharing her location online and waiting for men to turn up so she can sleep with them. Here's, let's see what Bonnie Blue has to say about this. For the days, I share my location online. I said, look, this is where I'm going to be. Q, and I'll see as many of you as I can. And I went one after the other. One of the days I started at 4 p.m. and finished at 6 a.m. I recently filmed for Bonnie. I was doing the interviews. I can now confirm that they do queue up outside like 30 of them. I just don't get how guys could do that. Some of them, bless them, had been waiting like over eight hours by the time they got to sleep with me. <laughs> they would queue up a group of 30 of them. Are you not ever like worried that, you know, you're going to get the wrong kind of guy? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> but like my main goal is to pleasure. I, I say the worst experience and I've been very lucky. It's just been my phone got robbed. So I did a and with 23 guys afterwards like you can imagine the state of the room like everything was everywhere there was condoms liquids fluids everywhere and I, I noticed my phone had gone but at this point I was like oh it's probably just under some a pack of condoms somewhere but shortly afterwards I'd realized it had been taken and then I was getting blackmailed to say if you don't pay us money we're going to release the content on your phone like you need to come and get it and then even you got threatened to say they're going to come take your watch didn't they yeah. the crazy thing is we all know though isn't it we all know that to be true right we all know that to be true just based on like regular girls that we know we know regular girls that we all know who are mildly attractive or girls that we're maybe interested in. If they were to put out an open call, like not, not even fucking, just say, hey, I'm at this location. The first 50 guys that come here can take me out on a date. We know they'd get, they, we, they'd get 50 guys, maybe even more to turn up. So it's a very specific thing for women only. But the fucking thing and being on camera and having over 100 guys turn up, some of them waiting eight hours to smash, they're waiting to smash her like she's a supreme drop, right? This is like back in the day, supreme drops, limited, limited edition Nike drops. They're queuing outside. <laughs> she gets smashed. It's fucking ridiculous. But then the really funny thing about it is the is the is the cameraman, the filmer. Bless his heart. Imagine the things that he's seen. Imagine the things that her cameraman has seen. The depravity. Imagine the depravity that the cameraman has seen. I, I'd imagine it probably changes his entire idea, worldview of relationships and sex in general. It probably makes him a little bit more, I'd say less thirsty, seeing the types of men that are doing this sort of stuff and seeing, you know, socioeconomic level, like, you know, the, the kind of, the, the variety. Cause I think that, that'll be, I think that'd be the really interesting part of it. See the, the variety of men, cause London is a multicultural city and shit come from all walks of life and probably dudes that he probably thinks like would never do this type of thing that good looking dudes dudes that look successful come in and doing this thing he's probably like raw dead and then come it changes the way you see yourself and you're like you know what i'm never gonna be thirsty again i'm never gonna do too much i'm gonna fucking relax because i can I, I don't know i don't know i don't know or maybe you just cheat as a job you just turn your camera on and keep it moving. You put a, you put a podcast on. You just zoom in. You zoom out, and then when it's done, you, you keep it moving. Do you know what I mean? Maybe maybe it desensitizes you. Maybe you don't really feel it. Maybe it's not a thing. You don't really care anymore. You hand her a glass of water, a wet towel. You stay outside when she's when she's finished. You come back in. Like you know what I mean? It's just you just treat, it's, it's just another job. Clock in, clock out. God Almighty, mate! Absolutely, God Almighty. Um, and then there's one more video I want to show you here before I read the article. Um, we used to go to war. Now we're doing post conference, um, post conferences after hitting. Let's play this one. And what about to all your family members that are queuing out there? <laughs> Hi. Hi family Hi. members. Who's going first then? Me, 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 me. You're, you're going first. Do you want to spend two minutes with me alone, or double it and pass it to the next person? So, do you want to be nice to your family and give them longer with me, or are you going to be selfish and do two minutes? Selfish. selfish. You be selfish. selfish? Yeah. And what would you do to me in two minutes? Tell me. Are you going to? Do Ah! 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 Cringe! Cringe! I'm gonna destroy you. Ah! Men, what are you doing? Somebody think about the men! What the hell are we gonna do without men? 
men, what are you doing, men? Oh, you're making us look terrible, men. Oh, oh my God. What are you going to do to me then? I'm going to destroy you. Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm cringing. I wish I could die right now. Oh my God. Destroy me. Jeez. I think we should put it to the test. Yeah, are you ready? I'm ready. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The bop bop bops outside. The bop bop bops outside. Oh. <laughs> they think Skepta is MCing, mate. They're bop bopping outside like Skepta and DWE are spitting. Ah. Would you recommend me to a friend? 100 million percent. And what about to all your family members that are queuing out there? Everybody, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth the wait. You're extremely worth the wait. You're sexy as well. <laughs> <laughs> his voice, his voice, bro. She took his soul. She took his soul. You're, 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 you're sexy as well. <laughs> you're, 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 you're sexy. <laughs> she took his soul, bro. She took his soul. Oh my god, exactly, Charles. We're down bad, so bad. Oh my god. Oh my Did god. Did you manage to destroy me though in those two minutes? Not in the two minutes, but if I had longer with you, you'd get destroyed. Exactly. He's going to come back and go again. 100%. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yo, big up the Garcia vlogs. This other girl, Lillian Phillips, does that too. This other girl, you know her name. You said her fault. You said her first and surname. Get out of here, the Garcia vlogs. This other girl, Lillian. You know her full government, man. You know her full government. You are all included. Get out of here, this other girl. <laughs> Don't play shy around here, man. We're all grown ups. Uh, Jordan Ray, where's this big location? Uh, big old fashion road, man. What's good, my G? It's fascinating to see how we see each other in society. If a guy did it, someone is calling the police. I don't think you could get a guy that could get this man of girls to do this, though. That's the thing. She's saying in interviews, there's like hundreds of guys that come to meet her. Hundreds of guys. I don't think there's a guy who could get that amount of women. I, I, don't, I, just, cause I, I just think women are a little bit... I think women, unlike guys, are a bit more shy about this sort of thing in public. Yeah, did they get up to madness behind the scenes or behind sorry behind closed doors? But I don't think they'd be willing to do the whole filming thing. I don't think so. I don't think you could get. I don't think you could get a hundred girls that'd be willing to smash some hot dude. Um, you know, like this on camera. I don't think so personally. I don't think so. Um, that would be the only problem. Could you get if they if they if there was no cameras at all? Could it happen? Possibly. But I just think women just have a different. It's just a different level. That kind of, the, the first that exists within, the only way I could see this happening is with gay guys, because gay guys are generally a, little bit, a lot more promiscuous anyway, but I could see gay guys queuing up, like, do you know what I mean? But they probably do it every weekend anyway, queuing up by the hundreds to go, you know, to get smashed or to go smash some dude. I could see that happening, but wow, 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 wow. Um, bro got to shape up before the smash. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he saw the shape up. He saw the fade, didn't it? He saw the fade. You know that he saw the fade. <laughs> Too skinny for me, says Charles Lucas. Fair enough. At least he's first. Yeah, true. You have to be weak. I would be. <laughs> I would be scared to have sex with anyone that had an sexual partner because to be scared of STDs. Condoms aren't safe. That if that, what if it rips? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I'd be too. I would just be. I, I don't think I could get excited in that kind of environment. It's just too much. There's too much stimuli. Too much things going on. The filming, the this, the guys outside waiting. It's just too much. I couldn't do it. I don't think I could get, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe you have to be a lad because all the lads out there going, bop, 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 bop. Maybe if you're like an Ibiza, Marbella, Dubai guy, you're already used to this kind of group activities anyway because, you know, that's what you do. You go out there to go secure the whores and maybe the whores out there are enjoying, you know, they like that sort of group activity. But for me, I couldn't do it, man. It's just too much. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Yeah, big up Charles Lucas. Even Harry Styles will, will struggle. Honestly, I swear to God, I think Harry, I, like, like try to think, let's say a conventionally attractive dude. Like, think of a Chris Brown. I think there are 100 girls in the UK easily that would love to smash Chris Brown. But they're not going to do it on camera. You know? That's the difference. Would 100, do, would 100 girls come out to smash Chris Brown? I don't think so on camera. I don't think so. I think guys just have, like, zero morals. Zero shame. 
<laughs> we're just pure and utter heathen. Um, we're just pure and utter um, heathens for pleasure. You know, I honestly, uh, that's it. I only think, only think, only guys could do this. Could kind of have this type of uh, lack of shame. Whatever. Maybe it's not shame. Maybe they just enjoy themselves. Who knows? Let's read the article. So it says here, an adult star who slept with over 100 university students and three granddads during the weekend says that parents should be thanking her. Bonnie Blue, she's 25 years old. Really? That woman is 25. God damn. Don't get me wrong. She, looks, she, she doesn't look older, older, but she doesn't look 25. I, I think she was like maybe early 30s. She's 25 years old. Shit. Fair play, I guess. Um, the adult content creator who is originally from Nottingham but lives in the Gold Coast of Australia told fem uh, female parents should be thanking me. I'm helping their children out. When I'm sleeping with them, it's educational and they walk away with such confidence. Incredibly, Bonnie's own parents are supportive of her adventures. My mum went, ar went around the day before after Fresher started handing out flyers and condoms to students and said go and, and, go and bonk my daughter. Well, yeah, I, I don't, I don't blame the mum because that's that's her, yes, your daughter, isn't it? You want to make sure she's safe. I completely understand why the mum's doing that. If you're gonna do it anyway, I, I might as well give you a fucking a whole pack of condoms so you don't go crazy and do some nonsense, isn't it? University students bonk me and let me film it. Jesus Christ, bro. <sighs> Yo, big up Nottingham though. Big up Nottingham. Uh, <laughs> let's continue. Um, you see, there's a mum making the flyer. You know, the apple don't fall far from the tree, probably. I bet her husband's looking at her like, giving her the side eye while she's feeling, while she's, while she's coloring in the fl the little poster thing. Oh, Jesus. My dad's got my business card in the back of his phone case. He takes her to the pub with his friends. They found out my career by video being leaked. They said they wouldn't have chosen this for me. But as long as you're happy, they see how happy I am and how much freedom I get financially. Now they love it. My mum wears a top with OnlyFans. My dad always tells people about it. That's the thing about parents, isn't it? Parents are pretty like, parents are pretty uh, shameless like that too. If you make money and you give them some money, regardless of what you do, they could probably turn a blind eye. You could be a literal hitman. You could be a hitman with bodies with, with, with bodies in the high three digits. The high three digits. And your parents will turn a blind eye because you're giving them a couple of grand a month. You know? That's the thing. <laughs> you can win your parents' love. Like that's the thing I think I realized later on in my life. Like you know, growing up in an African family, you tell your like one thing you should never tell your parents when you grow up in an African family is your dreams, your creative dreams, right? If you want to explore edu, you know, if you want to explore, you, uh, so exploring a career outside of the conventional sort of like you know um, subjects that African parents want, don't tell your parents about it. Just keep it to yourself and do it. Because once you're successful, they're gonna agree. But if you tell them why you're struggling. Like while you're trying to intern and shit, they're gonna say no, or they're gonna be very against what you're doing. Um, so just don't tell them. Just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> and then once it starts to make money and it starts to see you're driving a nice car or you live in a nice place or you look like you get your haircuts on a regular or something, whatever version of wealth they see, they'll suddenly be okay with what you're doing. Um, so yeah, it continues. For the past month, she posted on social media where she has more than two hundred and fifty-eight thousand followers on TikTok. Instagram and Twitter encouraging new students to film sexual content only fans. To be fair, that's not enough, isn't it? She should have way more followers than that. She has two hundred and sixty thousand followers across Twitter, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Huh? I wonder why she doesn't have more followers than that. I'd, maybe she doesn't make enough content, or maybe because it's all sex stuff. But she should have way more followers than that, given the content she makes. She hopes to earn around five hundred thousand from the videos and requested virgins. Wow! So she she might be making like a half a half a meal a month on OnlyFans. God damn. After receiving over 5,000 messages, she revealed her location, saying it was first come, first served, leading to queues around outside her room. I gave everyone a time slot. It's like going for your hair. I said, you can do whatever you want to me in this slot, then someone else is coming in. <laughs> I wonder if she's able to break it down by demographics. I wonder if she can get that kind of data. Like, black guys usually do this. White guys usually do this. Asian guys usually... Do... I wonder if she can break it down by demographic or maybe age. That'd be funny. That'd be funny to hear. I'd, I'd like to see that data. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It continues. 
Some people take longer because even though I've got a lot of experience in the bedroom, they're so nervous. On the first day, people were given a time, an hour slot, but it, it, this was later reduced to 20 minutes due to demand. She continued her sex sessions for a second consecutive weekend, talking to students across Nottingham. Term started. She had, was joined by adult film star Philly, no, Lily Phillips, sorry. Big up uh, the Garcia vlogs. He knows her. Uh, Lily Phillips, who was more than 560,000 followers on Instagram and TikTok. One of the first weekend, she slept with six, 73 people. The next weekend, she followed it up with 37, including 23 men without a break. She had four partners on Saturday before taking Sunday off to recover. She claims her sex marathons are, display, uh, are to dispel myths produced by porn. If you're a virgin or new to sex, there's nothing for you. You watch porn stars with massive penises and bodies and average person is not like that. It's not helping them. When you watch a movie, if you can relate to that person, you can connect a lot better. <laughs> what? What's, she, what's this girl waffling about? <laughs> what's this girl waffling about? What? Hold on, let's read that again. What the fuck is she talking about? If you're, if you're a virgin or new to sex, there's nothing for you. You watch porn stars with massive penises and bodies and the average person is not like that. It's not helping them. When you watch a movie, if you can relate to the person, you can connect to, uh, with them a lot better. So I thought it's, there's no better way for me to make content than to have sex with virgins or groups of new friends or just the average day person. I guess. I guess. Bonnie first went viral after filming X-rated content with Australian school leavers last year. She was criticized for sleeping with 22 American college students in one night during a spring break in Cancun, Mexico. It marched but broke her record by bedding 37 people on Friday while she slept with 30 men on the previous Saturday. The boys in the UK have a bit more st are a bit have been a bit more stiff. I don't know if they're more nervous. <laughs> I told you we live in a puritanical country, man. Catholic Catholicism runs rampant. A lot of those guys are bang, uh, are banging her with, with mad guilt, mad guilt and regret. They can't let loose. <laughs> Responding to accusations of predatory behavior by targeting young men, she said, "If people want to think that eighteen-year-old doesn't want to sleep with a porn star, then they really got to get out under their rock. When eighteen-year-olds are having sex, it's usually unprotected, and it's never that good of an experience because the girls are inexperienced too. I have a video of them, and they clearly are enjoying it." Bonnie checks her partner's IDs to confirm they're 18 and they must sign a form consent to be filmed and they must also wear a condom. There is no set person. As an 18-year-old, some people are confident, shy, some are insecure. Yet you get some who say, come on, Bonnie, I'm going to show you a good time. And then you have others who are holding their IDs up and shaking and are nervous. Not only students are involved. After the, the first person, I went downstairs thinking I'd go to a city centre to find people and there was a queue of hundreds of people waiting. It was mostly students, but there was a group of granddads the oldest was 71. One was retired. He heard about me from his grandson. <laughs> oh, they have to be Mundeles. 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 Granddad and grandson discussing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have to be Mundeles. Have to be. Have to be. God almighty. Um, the people who turn up might look weird or be weird to some people, um, but I'm happy to pleasure anyone. There's been no bad boy so far. Bonnie wants to visit Manchester or London for Freshers Week next year. 100% I will. Or oh, the numbers will be through the roof. Continue, considering how she's going now and the media run she's been getting and the promotion, if this girl goes to Manchester and London, the numbers will be through the roof. The numbers might hit the three digits. I'm sorry, four digits. Like, even four. Let's say four. We might get four digits. We might get thousands. I swear to God. If she comes to London... Um, but just one place because I don't want to waste time traveling as that's morning without students. I try to get as many people in as possible in a short time to say thank you because it has changed my life and my family's. Merde, 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 merde. And what can you say? I guess, hey man, whatever works for people, I guess in some respects, um, maybe that as she says, maybe there is a sexual education component about it. These guys are getting to smash somebody who technically is a professional within their field it might make them better partners for people later down the line right who knows in that regard um it might also make them practice stuff like safe sex because if someone like that is getting you to use a condom it might make you more likely to use one i don't think so personally right the whole point of going to a fucking university is to you know graduate and get a degree and also potentially catch those stds um so i don't think a lot of guys are gonna really take that lesson to heed or, or you know use it and whatever but 
you know, more power to the girl. More power to the girl. Like I said, um, I just find it funny because people love to talk how they're pro sex work, but then when they see what actual sex work is, like this is the reality of it. Really, really reality of it. Especially if you think of girls who like work in brothels or are prostitutes or work as higher class escorts. This is the type of numbers they're putting up. What do you think? You know what I mean? This is the type of numbers they're putting up, especially if they're good at what they do, especially if they're attractive. Their numbers are getting passed around. They're getting recommended. Like these are numbers that they're putting up. So more power to her, more power to the people involved. If they're happy and they're safe doing what they're doing, what can we do? Absolutely nada. So more power to these people, more power to these people. What else can you say? You can't really say nothing. Is corn good? Do you guys give the, a good performance? Is the corn? I, I don't know. I, I, I've never watched it. I've never, I'm proud to say I've never ever subscribed to OnlyFans. I'm not really, it's not, not because I'm against porn or anything. I just refuse to subscribe to many fucking services, especially subscription things. I'm just not going to do it. I refuse. Um, so I've never actually subscribed to once. I don't know what that content looks like. Um, so I have no idea. But I assume it's just whatever, whatever she puts on her social, I'm assuming it's just a variation of that. It's a guy filming her fucking loads of dudes, isn't it? So I don't know. If you get pleasure out of that, then fair play. Enjoy it. But I don't know how much you can get from that sort of stuff. Um... Don't prostitutes sleep with regular men? Probably 37 or more. Exactly, yeah. Big up Shay Sky, exactly. I think prostitutes put up the same numbers, if not more. Especially if, they're, especially if they're good at what they do. Think about it. I'd imagine if they're good, like any service, if they're good at what they do, they get recommended to a bunch of people. So I, I honestly do think it's fairly, 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 you know, it's conservative to say 37. Conservative. And I said before in the previous stream, I think regular people also lie about their numbers. You know, that's the first lie you ever tell a new partner or somebody that you're dating. That's the first lie we all tell. How many people you slept with? You always underplay it or you always over, you know, overplay it to make yourself look better. Um, I know I do anyway, you know, if that if a question ever comes up. Um, big up Fashion Roadman. What shocks me is the lack of consideration around the potential of her getting life change STIs. Yeah, I guess she just thinks condoms are like bulletproof. I guess so. I guess there's no understanding or idea that it could, because eventually this will get dark. She mentioned already, oh, nothing bad's happened. Only my phones get stolen. Eventually, this will get dark, innit? It's just a, we all know this, innit? This is the nature of that business, nature of that area. It brings out the worst in people, or it brings out the worst type of people you'd imagine to, you know, potentially to cross paths. So it will get dark eventually, which is sad. But um, considering that she's doing it, I think with a clean heart, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, the ST, the, the lack of STI, STD conversation is funny. I guess condoms are bulletproof. I guess they're uh, foolproof, right? You, you can't get any STDs with a condom. Cool. Um, does she consider us her future? I'm surprised that this kind of solicitation is allowed on college campuses. I guess they can't technically do anything because she's outside of the college campus in public, I guess, sometime, maybe, I guess. Because I think the, the law is about... The, I think in the UK, it's different. I think, like, by law, you're only really allowed to tell people to, like, if they're blocking the path that's going into your place of business. But I don't even think, by law, you own the road at your street. No, you own the bit of road in front of where your shop is. I think that is owned by somebody else or owned by the taxpayer or something. I think it's something weird like that. I remember that being a big thing. So most likely she doesn't have a she doesn't have a leg to stand on anyway. Even even if they did want to say something, I don't think they could. So it makes a lot of sense why they're not actually.